in shambles today. But yeah, I think they think I'm an extrovert and I'm not. Hello everyone. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. So my name is Arnesia and I'm a recruiting coordinator in the tech industry. Today I'm doing a, another nine to five work from home vlog. And I'm going to be honest with y'all, today has already been crazy and it's only 11.30. And I'm not even starting this video right when I started work because it's just been that crazy. So honestly, right now it's not even time that I'm free and available, but I just needed to pick up this camera because today is just one of those very realistic days where my inbox is going crazy, my Slack is going crazy. People reached out to me like an hour ago, two hours ago. I still haven't gotten back to them. And yeah, like I definitely could have had a mental breakdown this morning and just like cried because I've just been so busy, but I'm trying to stick it through. And the weather also is very gloomy today. So I'm trying not to let that get to me, but it has been just one of those days for sure. So I'm gonna catch y'all up on what my day has been like and then I will do some real time work with y'all and just share as much information as I can. And if you are interested in becoming a recruiting coordinator, just be ready to pivot a lot and have days where you're you just feel like you're in shambles because that's what today feels like for me so i did want to just catch y'all up on what my day has been like today so i started work at 9 a.m i wanted to start a little bit earlier but that didn't happen which is totally fine um i'm trying to stick to my regular working hours anyway um, but I had a meeting that started right at 9 a.m. So I really didn't have a chance to go through my emails and kind of clean things up before I actually started my day. We actually had someone new join our team um, this week. So I have been sort of in charge of her training and creating the onboarding plan for her and what that looks like as well as partnering with other teammates of mine to help train her. And I had a meeting this morning at 9 a.m. to like have her shadow me and y'all <laughs> I mean I guess it was good for her to see because this is just real like this is going to be what she's going to be doing um but for some reason I had so many things happen overnight and like my inbox was just like hey this is urgent hey this is urgent basically and I'm just like so it was really like up to me to decide what was the, mo the most urgent and create that to-do list for myself. Um, but basically, I just had a lot of candidates canceling last minute. Also, internally, I had interviewers saying that they now had conflicts, which happens um, in the world of being a recruiting coordinator. Y'all know if you're one or if you want to be, this is what happens a lot. So the interviewer, they're available one day and then another day, like something more urgent than an interview takes place at the same time that they're already scheduled for. So yeah, um, so that has been happening a lot. Honestly, there was one email that I missed because it was so last minute that I didn't even see the email until after the interview had taken place and it was like a panel interview. So I'm still waiting to hear back on if that interviewer was even able to attend. It has just been a hot mess. Um, yeah, it has been a hot mess and it's just crazy because it's like close to the holidays and I'm so busy. Like I'm so busy. I don't know if this angle is cool or whatever, but I can't show y'all my computer screen for obvious reasons. And right now I have a lot of availability emails that I have received, meaning that candidates have provided their availability to me. So I need to go in and schedule their interview. So I have some that reached out to me yesterday that I'm going to prioritize because um, they have been waiting and I don't think that it has been 24 hours, but at this point, honestly, it probably has. 
and I try to get back to candidates within 24 hours of when they share their availability with me but today has just been one of those days where other things have taken priority over scheduling this. If you are a candidate and you're going through the interview process and you're working with a recruiting coordinator, just take the time to thank them for all that they are doing because it's really a lot and especially in my role, obviously every company is different, but in my role I wear so many different hats and I'm very much involved in a lot of different processes when it comes to interviewing, onboarding, and even new hires after they have started. So it's really a lot to keep up with. And you know, if you are a candidate, just try to be flexible. Like, please don't, please don't reach out and say like, no, my interview has to take place at 1 p.m. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Like, please, okay, please. Sometimes we can accommodate that, but you need to be willing to be flexible, especially if you want the job, like. <laughs> Please, like we're trying to help you because the faster we get candidates through the pipeline, the like, you get what I'm trying to say. out to me this morning at like 10 a.m. I still have not responded to their slack. I have another meeting in about 15 minutes with my manager's manager and I'm not sure what he wants to go over during this call but we'll see. Then right after that call I have another call with vendor to just chat and at three o'clock I have another one hour training session that I'm going to do and then at 4 30 I have time blocked off for me to do an audit. So ready for it to be the end of the day because one I need to edit this video, two I'm so tired, three I still have to wash dishes, laundry, figure out what I'm gonna eat for dinner. I need to go find one of my packages that says it was delivered on Monday, which is still not in my possession. And I know that this video is like all over the place and it's really, I mean, is it a work day in my life video? I don't even know, but I hope that y'all still find it helpful and entertaining to some aspect, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna stick to my once a week posting so if that means that my video is just me rambling about how busy I am that's what it's going to be because I still want to give y'all just a realistic view of what my work days are like some days are more structured some days are chaotic like today I've been talking all day on these zoom calls and then like after work I just can stare at the wall I'll stare at the wall and like sit in darkness just because I need to recharge. Yeah, recharge. Like, <laughs> when I was working in an office, and this was like my first corporate job right after college, I would get to work super early so that I was the only person in the office and then leave before everybody. Because like, one, I, I could not work in an office setting. Well, I mean, I was so young then maybe I could now 
but I couldn't work in an office setting because like people are so loud and like you can just hear them talking the whole time and like I could just get distracted but I didn't really like talk to them for real I talked to like one person <laughs> I talked to like one person and that was it I gotta go get on this call and I will let y'all know how it goes Actually, no, I won't have a chance to let y'all know how it goes because I have another call right after it. So after my two calls that I have, I'll let y'all know how those calls went. <laughs> hey y'all, I am back. I just finished my two meetings and I have 25-ish minutes before my next call. <laughs> um, my meetings went okay so i actually got out of the meeting with my manager's manager early a little early only like 10 minutes and then i had my other meeting with the vendor which took the entire time because there were just some questions that i had also some concerns and also some issues that um we have been running into so i just wanted to chat with them live on that and work through those things so that was an interesting call. I mean, I guess I can say things are starting to slow down a little bit. Hopefully my morning tomorrow isn't as crazy because I think that that's what messed me up is that my morning was hectic so the rest of my day was hectic instead of how it normally is where I'm able to have a little bit of downtime in my mornings. A little bit of chill time, I guess, and just wanted to say that I really appreciate y'all for subscribing to my channel, watching my videos, commenting on them, liking them. I really, really appreciate it. For today's video, if you are still watching at this point, go ahead and put a yellow heart in the comments below. Like I said in my other video, I may start doing a little something, you know, with the comments below, but I really want to know if you are still watching this far. <laughs> and also just let me know other video ideas or something that you would be interested in seeing on my channel because I have a little list of ideas because I'm definitely trying to stick with this once a week on Thursdays at 6 p.m. Central Time schedule. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get ready for this training session that I have at three o'clock and just make sure that I'm good to go and not acting as though my day has been um, in shambles, which it has been, because I don't want to scare her off. But <laughs> yeah, so I'll check in with y'all later. Back, and it is finally the end of the day for me. It's a little bit after 5 p.m. and I have logged off. I'm about to straighten up my desk and then I'm going to figure out what I'm going to eat for dinner. But yeah, thank you so much again for watching this video and I will see y'all in my next video next Thursday. Have a good one, y'all.